It is a light heavyweight matchup between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Ovin St. Pru. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. The American is 37, the Brazilian is 38. St. Pru will have a four inch reach advantage. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 25 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Ovis St. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 27 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Mauricio Shogun Hula. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes circle? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the out. Massive knee lands from the tie flinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, a little single collar tie there. 
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big knee land. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Takedown defense holds up. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over two minutes to go in round one. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Shogun Hu. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tight clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big call to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Oh, oh that's clear, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body! Oh, big shot lands. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Five minutes down, here we go now, DC, with Ready the fight? start of our Ready. second round. Shogun Hua. And Ovin St. Cruz. Single collar tied out. Nice straight punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! Oh, big left. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head to get his opponent on his hip. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 1 minute, 34 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out, Ovis St. Cruz. Well, 
what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight they felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win but get the finish and they certainly got it tonight they got the finish he's such a terrific grappler every time he is on his back he looks for submissions over and over again eventually he found one tonight and got the desired result Thank <laughs> you. 